<clears throat> hey, welcome to Big Board. We're uh, playing patrol and we've just done a little bit of our turn backwards, but that's okay. It will work out, trust me, it's all good. Here is an MG unit. And the units are generic in this game, so even by zooming in here, you'll see it says MG and that's about it. And he's prone. And the reason why he's prone is that because the last turn, uh, this chap here spotted folks, and uh, that's the Bundesvere up there in the top hand corner. First thing you do in a combat, in a, uh, in a turn, assess uh, what stance you're going to take. And then you go to combat. Uh, we actually moved first, but that's okay. Uh, the guys that are going to conduct combat and the people that we're going to shoot at didn't move, so it's all nice and it'll work out. So just to give you an example of how uh, deadly uh, combat is, and if we assume that the range of these hexes is somewhere between 5 and 10 meters now, I keep, <laughs> keep revising it down and down from 75 meters down to uh, <coughs> 5 or 10, uh, we're about 20 hexes away. And in fact, I think we we're exactly 20 hexes because uh, the MG fires at a range of 11 to 20. It fires with a firepower of 30. If I was within one to five hexes, I would fire with a firepower of 90. Uh, now, so these chaps are going to fire at the guys up on the top of the slope who are prone. Uh, because we're in mixed terrain, that's the terrain type that the scenario told us, uh, these guys get a defensive multiple of four. Well, what's their, what's their base number? Unfortunately for these guys, their base number is one. In fact, all units are always one when they start. Uh, unless, uh, no, they're always one when they start, and then we use the terrain modifiers to work out what that is. And that is going to be our base number that we use to work out our combat ratio. So it's going to be 30 to four, which is going to give us a seven to one attack which will put us on the combat ratio table. In fact, you guys can see this over here. Combat ratio table right there. Right there. How's that bad boy? Okay. And so you'll see we're on this column here. And if I roll a one, we get a kill. That's an incapacitated, a wound, and a miss. Now, unfortunately, well, fortunately for, for you guys, uh, for the, the team that are playing on the play by poll. Uh, voting, I rolled a six, and that is a miss. So, but what we do need to do is to see if we ran out of ammo, and that would really grind my butt if that happened. Uh, so, what do I have to do? If the result is one or two, then the weapon becomes. Well, I guess we just do that all at the same time rather than rolling the dice twice. Or we could we have to do this separate die? Yeah, this sounds like a drag, doesn't it? Roll it twice, but we'll roll it. We'll roll it. This time we'll roll it. Next time we're just going to take whatever the result is. And roll a five, so that's no effect. So our machine gun is not unloaded, which means that we don't have to reload it next turn. We'll keep shooting next turn. Okay, so that unit down here fired at two chappies in the hex there. I guess it was, they firing it, yes. So I can also fire this guy because he has orders to fire as well. And he has a rifle style gun, but they're automatic weapons and a range of 20, he has a strength of 20, uh, but he's not at 20 range, he's at one, two, three, he's at 17, it's gonna be the same. So a range, so strength of 20, we're gonna fire 20 versus four. I need a die, it's in my pocket. We'll roll the die. Ooh, a better result this time. We roll the two, but it's on the one to one through five to one table, and that is an incapacitate. So, one of the chaps up here. Whoa, oh, hang on. Loving the camera work? I'm loving the camera work. All right, so we have just incapacitated so, now I like it when we do that. So let's grab a little counter. Select that guy on there. 
and he's now incapacitated. I need to check on whether we have to roll uh, for all the guys in the hex or just one roll and it affects the, the one guy, but I think that's basically it. And that's the only fire combat that we're conducting this turn. These guys here, let's zoom out a little bit for you. These guys here can't see anything because of this, this ridge line here and, and the drop off is gonna block a line of sight all the way down to these chappies down here. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check for you. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, it'd be nice to fire the rocket launcher all that way down there, wouldn't it? So, uh, and the MG. Oh, you know what? Uh, unfortunately, the MG moved. Even though he crawled, this guy here, he has a line of sight down to these fellas all the way back down here. I'm trying to keep this a little far away for me to uh, keep everybody in frame and still have some detail. But uh, there's a line of sight from here to here. Ooh, maybe not, actually. I think I might be kidding myself. What do you think? Yeah, crosses through that hex. Oh, no, 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 they're good. That's, that's, easy. that's an easy line of sight. But it does cross this one here, so that would be blocking. All right, so no shooting from the Germans. They moved in any case. So next turn, we'll, uh, we'll continue moving. And if you recall, the the orders were to have one group in Overwatch and one group moving. Uh, the folks that were in Overwatch had to, hey, kitty, hey, you want to come and annoy me or what's the deal? These guys that are in Overwatch here had to move to get in a position to fire. So they're going to have to wait uh, a turn before they can do much more uh, helping. And we've got to work out what that incapacitation will do to our morale. In the meantime, the other forces are going to continue to move. The cat just jumped down. Uh, move in this direction. All right, I'm getting distracted by kittens. I can't uh, play like everybody else does and have cats running around. Gotta go.